My name is Hayden Fox. I'm our product specialist at 21st Century Equipment. Today I'm standing in front of our exact shot demo planner. You can't see it right now, but this system is equipped with what the John Deere is calling exact shot. So think of it as sea and spray for infro fertilizer. So what we're doing with this technology is we're able just to do a one, two, or three inch band of fertilizer directly over that corn seed as we're planting. So in the long run, it saves us a ton of fertilizer, especially in a dry land application at a real low population. So the neat thing about this is we'll have two of these planters, this one and another one identical to it, uh, that we'll have spread out across the company to demo this spring. So if you're interested in a demo, whether it be focusing on exact shot technology or just the planting technology itself, reach out to your local salesman and we can work on getting a demo set up for you. So everybody knows by now that technology is evolving so quickly, it's hard to stay current. You can't justify trading a piece of equipment every single year just to have the latest and greatest technology. So something that Deere's been developing and is really pushing hard is precision upgrade kit. Now this planner was a factory built planner with all this technology on it, but all of these components are components that we can add to an existing planner. We can strip it completely down to just the toolbar and we can add all these new row units with exact emerge technology. We can add exact shot technology. I could add an upgrade, my closing wheel system and pneumatic closing wheels. Basically every component that you see that makes up this row unit can be added in one way or another to an existing planner. John Deere is now gonna start offering a meter only upgrade option. So in the past, if I wanted to go say from max emerge to exact emerge, I'd have to buy an entire new row unit. We'll have the capability here before too long to add and change just the seed meters. So it'll really cut down on the cost of updating a planter and adding new features to a planter. Hi, I'm Casey Andrews. I'm part of our Precision Ag team that's based out of the Greeley and the Fort Morgan locations. One of my rotations I helped with today was talking about agronomic trials. The main thing I wanted to focus on there is just helping people understand what type of trials they could be doing on their operations. That way they could dial in to see if certain varieties can help make a difference for them, looking at different technologies like exact shot, CN spray, and how to set up those trials. That way we can then move that information back into operations center, run those analytics and see what impact we can have on their operation. 21st century, we have access to a test farm where we're able to go out and test test a lot of this technology firsthand. That way we get exposure to it, know how to properly set everything up. Then we can also run some different studies, like we ran some on exact shot this year, just to see how we can prove that technology out on our farm. That way we have good local-based data collected and see how it works in our AOR, how it can impact us here. The nice part about trials there at our test farm, we're taking on that risk. We're able to test different things. We can see what truly makes an Im impact there that maybe a customer may not be comfortable with. So we're taking on that risk, allowing it to see how it affects our farm. Uh, that way we can share that data out to the customers in our area. Exact shot right behind me right here has some really exciting things. We were seeing very similar yields between continuous and dosing application. And the nice part about it is a huge savings in fertilizer that we were seeing there. On our irrigated stuff, we saw 60% savings on that field and then even greater in dry land applications. And we also saw some good impact on some of our silage ground, that corn silage ground that we did studies on. We also talked about some of the things we got from sea and spray. We ran a couple passes of continuous broadcast spraying right next to sea and spray. He wanted to come back two weeks later, see no visual differences, but he saw up between 68 and 62% savings depending on the sensitivity settings he had there. A lot of really cool results that we're seeing from this new technology. There's a lot of really cool technology that maybe you don't have access to right now. Get with us, get with anybody on our team, sales, get with any of us. We can set up demos that way you can see firsthand on your operation how this technology could impact what you got going on. I'm Dalton McMurphy, part of the Precision Ag Consultant team. I work out of the Yuma location. We basically talked about setting a nice plan for the year, cleaning up your operations center, making clean boundaries, making sure you have the right client farm field structure. So clean boundaries, that's, that's probably step one. We want you to drive them with a new 7500 or 7000 receiver. That's the groundwork for any of the more autonomous stuff that we're going to do. It's what's going to revolve around things like AutoPath. It is required to, to run AutoPath. You need that clean boundary so that it knows where you're at in the field where the lines are for your headland passes, your regular guidance lines back and forth. And then another thing for work plans, you need an active boundary for that so that it knows where to place that plan when you get to the edge of the field or into the field. It'll pop that plan right up on your display. You hit okay to what you planned. 
and away you go. Not a lot of setup on the edge of the field, not a lot of downtime, no time wasted. It eliminates about 20 clicks on your display when you're at the end of the field. So previously, your operator's sitting on the end of the field, they're clicking through the display, they gotta pick the right guidance line out of however many guidance lines you have, same with the field, same with products, crop, anything you're doing, and now with work plan, it takes about four clicks, and before that you were up at 30 plus clicks if you have a mess in your display. So that's the importance of getting that cleaned up beforehand in the op center so that it just eliminates that downtime on the edge of the field so you can be more efficient. And with that work plan, if you have more inexperienced guys in the machine, it eliminates that confusion on exactly what field, guidance line, crop, et cetera, that you need to be clicking on because it's right there, it's all planned out. He pulls in the field, it pops up, it tells him exactly what he's doing. He clicks OK and away he goes. So data sync, really simple to get information back and forth through the ops center. That goes back to the importance of having a clean operations center because that is king. Anything in the operations center will automatically get sent to your entire fleet over the air and vice versa. If you make a new guidance line, you add a crop, you make a new boundary in your machine, it will also go to ops center and from there, it'll go to your entire fleet. If you make a line strip till it's there for the planner if he's following you. Everything you create is back in every machine. Less confusion, less mess, just easier. Hello everyone, my name is Austin Birkin. I'm a precision ag consultant out of Cheyenne, Wyoming. So this is the G5 Plus display here. This is a, the newest technology we have for our displays currently from John Deere. It's got the same operating system as a Gen 4, so it is not a huge update from there. Your menu, everything like that, applications, all your stuff is still in the same place. But when you compare it to a 2630, 2600, it is a completely different operating system. It's pretty intuitive. The nice thing about the G5 displays and even Gen 4s, and there's always these little buttons up here. Every single page has one, and what it does is it gives you advanced settings or also help, help documentation. So being able to see all this and be able to kind of figure out right there in the screen instead of having to make a phone call or look online, that is a huge step inside, just user friendliness inside these displays compared to the older generations of displays. And the nice thing about the G5 II compared to the Gen 4 is we do have a little bit bigger screen. We go from a 10.1 inch to a 12.8 inch screen, and that's measured diagonally, especially with our new software update and with advanced licensing. There's a lot of cool features inside here now. You get Google uh, imagery inside there, so instead of this blank gray map in the world that you have no idea where you are, you actually physically get to see where you are in the world in relation to Google Earth. You can actually see your street names, see waterways, trees, everything like that. The other thing too is you get split screen like this and then coming with a new update, you'll be able to act like a, more like an iPad. You'll be able to swipe, pinch to zoom, things like that too. There seems to be a little bit of a, a fear of adopting technology, and especially in agriculture. But I like to kind of put it in this perspective. If you use a phone, a smartphone, every few years you're updating that, right? There is no holding on to it for 20 years. We all update the technology on our phone in our pocket, something we use every day. That same principle can be used inside of agriculture because we use that technology every day while we're farming. And that might be 10, 12, 14 hours a day. That's a lot more time you spend in that tractor cab than you do truly on your phone. Don't be afraid to be able to adopt some new technology. Technology. There's a lot of opportunities. We have a lot of trainings, just like the High Plains Ag Expo that we have. And then also we have lunch and learns, things like that. We're here to help you guys out any way we can. Most of us have the heart of a teacher, so whatever we can do to help you guys be successful in your business.